airport lounges. Are they really worth the extra buck? In this video, I enter those mysterious doors at Los Angeles International Airport to find out on my own. The first question is, how do you even get into them? Well, either through a credit card that gives you airport lounge access, if you travel first class, or if you buy a single access pass, which is what I did. The only available lounge at the terminal I was flying out from was American Airlines. You have two choices here, either American Airlines Admirals for $60 or American Airlines flagship lounge for about $100 and $60. I got the $60 one and what did my access give me? Unlimited food. They have a variety of fruits, granola, a little buffet of both warm and cold food, a dessert bar, espresso machine with a variety of flavored syrups if you like coffee drinks, but also regular coffee. They also had unlimited soft drinks and water. The alcohol, however, is not included. And while there is a bar there, you do need to pay for your drinks separately. Quiet space. What's great about airport lounges is that it is so much more quiet than the rest of the airport. You can easily relax here and just unwind away from the hustle and bustle of LAX. You'll also notice a children's room here where you can take your kids to watch a cartoon. For those in need, there are also showers here so you can freshen up during your travels. So was the $60 worth it? The food here was just about okay. I really enjoyed my poblano chicken soup that I topped with cheddar cheese and bacon. I didn't feel like having alcohol this time anyway, so I went with a latte that was basically like a Starbucks, which most of us are used to in the US, and the rice cookies and brownie bites were absolutely amazing. The chocolate chip cookie was a little bit dry, but I really, really liked the other sweets here. While the food wasn't better than the regular airport food, it wasn't worse either. In comparison, last time I traveled internationally, I had eaten at a restaurant where you obviously also tip and tax additionally. I had gotten a glass of Prosecco and two bottles of water. This all came to about $50. So for $10 extra, to get a more relaxed and quiet space with nice views, unlimited food and soft drinks, this was well worth the experience. I can also add that the lounge was literally at my gate. If you're going to be at an airport for more than two to three hours and if it's going to cost you about the same to eat and drink, even if it's just water, because water is so expensive at airports, I highly recommend getting into a lounge. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did or leave your comments down below. If you are not subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell button next to it to get notified for upcoming videos.